What's up everybody? Um, this is going to be an off week for me because this is my anniversary with my wife. We're celebrating our eight years together uh, this weekend. We're actually going to a bed and breakfast and staying the whole weekend. So I'm not going to be able to get out in the shop and, and do anything. I know the 2x4 competition is nearing uh, conclusion. So I am going to be doing my 2x4 uh, competition project starting when I get back. So uh, be on the lookout for that video. It's going to be really cool. Uh, to see what I come up with because uh, I'm kind of excited to see it myself. Hope I don't screw it up uh, Anyway, I wanted to get get this stuff done because I'm gonna be leaving here pretty quick So I'm hoping I get all this uh, out of my head and and uh, I don't forget anything so uh, Plus I got my little three-year-old if you can I don't know if you can see her head right there, but she's playing around anyway um, I wanted to thank first rich Emery. I believe is the is his name he actually was nice enough to send me what he refers to as the broke ass bowl uh, and, and he put it on there just like that on the bottom of the bowl uh, his he was actually featuring this on his channel and uh, he was trying to put an oak rim around it well that broke off broke his window behind the lathe when that's that was his recommendation don't put your lathe next to a window <laughs> so uh, he sent me the bowl because I shared it on my on my channel, and uh, I guess he got a lot of views from it. So uh, as a thanks, he sent me the bowl uh, as as a thank you, and uh, it is a beautiful segmented bowl. So Rich, I thank you very much for that. It's going to get great use uh, in my home or even at my office. So thank you again. Uh, I'll leave you a link to Rich's channel uh, in the comments below. Um, also, what is it? Oh, Josh Wessel, he uh, contacted me by Facebook and uh, asked me if he wanted to, uh, if I was going to allow him to be able to give me uh, a different kind of a website format because as you know, I'm not a website designer. I did my best with the time that I had. I'm not the greatest. It's cool and all, but I wish I could have had it done better. So uh, Josh volunteered his time for me uh, to throw together some ideas and he's going to submit those to me for website design and I'm kind of ex excited to see what he comes up with because and like I said, I'm not a professional. He is. So uh, I am I'm happy that he's devoting his time to me. Uh, so thank you very much, Josh. I look forward to seeing that uh, what you come up with. Um, let's see. Dang, I don't, I don't quite know. Oh, one more thing. I, I, I would give you guys video recommendations and, and channel recommendations, but like I said, I've got so much stuff running around in my head right now, I just can't think. Um, let's see, one more thing is uh, this month, and actually I believe this week, marks my one year of being on YouTube as a woodworker. Uh, so, let's see, I started, oh, I think it was like the third week in May. This is like the second or third week. And uh, I am ending up right now with roughly 12,400 55 subscribers something like that and YouTube's kind of been screwing up right now my subscriber totals have been staying put for days on end and I've been getting subscribers but YouTube's not reflecting it so I'm not sure what's going on with them but what it says right now is almost 12,500 people I don't know if that's accurate but it's good enough for me I wanted to thank everyone that has been with Rockin H Woodshop this entire first year uh, the season I had ending in December and the starting uh, of this second season, it's just been a blast and I uh, want to continue making these videos uh, to the best of my ability and make them better and more productive with better content as I go. So I'm hoping that you guys are, are with me and uh, appreciate what it is that I do for you all. So thank you all very much for being part of this wonderful, wonderful year. So. Uh, before my daughter changes the camera angle on me. <laughs> come here, honey. You can say hi to everybody. Come here, come here, come here. Come here, come here, come here. Hurry, come here. Oh. All right. Say hi to everybody and say happy one year. Say it. <laughs> say it. Or say, I love my big girl bed. I love my big bed. All right. Okay. How, uh, about that, I hope you guys enjoyed the... Uh, big girl full-size bed that I threw together for my daughter. Uh, she has been in a crib for three years now and we finally got around to making her a big bed. So she enjoys it and loves it. Um, 
I hope you guys got some use out of the uh, techniques in making a platform uh, base instead of using a box spring. Like I said, it helps save you money. Um, just be mindful of how long your cleats are on the inside of the bed frame. That's, that will allow you to be able to screw in those pocket screws because <clears throat> if I installed it too close to the pocket screw hole, you wouldn't have been able to screw it in. Um, the bracing underneath of the 2x4s worked well. Uh, I stood on those on end, uh, or, or excuse me, on their edge, and it held up my weight without a problem. So I was very happy the way it turned out and how much weight it's actually going to support. So um, if you guys find like headboards and footboards and you think, well, I can't make a bed out of that, I don't have all the, the railings. Not true. You can make yourself a very nice bed, which is a little bit of material. I actually bought that headboard and footboard for $50 at an antique store. All the material that I used on it, I had on hand except for the plywood and that cost me about 40 bucks. Uh, and it was half inch plywood, so it was perfect. So that's a really low end budget uh, project that will give you years of service down the road. So guys, I hope you uh, look forward to the next year and many years to come for Rock and H Woodshop. And I gotta get my tail moving and get things packed because I gotta go. I'll talk to you guys next week. Be on the lookout for the two x four competition. Thank you Summers Woodworking for putting that on. Take care.